In this episode of The Design Tourist, I travel to Egypt to explore the country's iconic archaeological sites along the Nile on a four-day cruise filled with fascinating stories of gods, glories, conquest, and civilizations that shaped modern-day Egypt and produced some of the world's greatest works of art and architecture. I flew into Cairo and met up with Cairo Transport and Touring, my guides on a 10-day tour of the country. As a woman traveling alone in the Middle East, I wanted peace of mind. I wanted to feel safe and secure, so I was free to absorb and learn and experience all that Egypt had to offer. That's why I chose to go with an experienced tour company that had local English-speaking guides and a dedicated security guard to accompany my group everywhere. Our next stop, the Luxor Temple. It's located in the city center of Luxor and it was built by King Ramsay II. Now, the Luxor Temple connects to the Karnak Temple through the famous Avenue of Sphinxes. It's a byway, a passageway that's lined with 1300 sphinxes and in November 2021, it was restored. The next morning, another very early wake up call to head out for a hot air balloon ride at sunrise. All right, now this turned out to be an adrenaline pumping adventure and you'll learn why in just a moment. In the early morning darkness, I watched the glowing balloons expand as flames flash and hiss, pumping hot air to inflate them. My heart races as the breathtaking scene unfolds. I'm a little nervous, I feel vulnerable. I mean, this is my first hot air balloon ride. But once we lift off and float above the ground and into the clouds, my mind calms and peace washes over me. The sky is peppered with colorful balloons gliding over the landscape of farms and the Nile River Valley. I watch the sunrise bathing the landscape in daylight. And soon it's time to turn back. Suddenly I start to feel the balloon swaying with the wind. The pilot is struggling to land as the wind carries our balloon off course. And then we land with a thud. Our basket tips over to its side, toppling all of the passengers. I climb out onto the ashen-covered croplands as nearby farmers rush to our rescue. Suffice it to say, if you are an adventure seeker, a hot air balloon ride is a wild ride. But if you're not a risk taker, maybe pass on this excursion. I start with Egypt's emblematic tourist experience, a visit to the Pyramids of Giza, the oldest and only surviving of the seven ancient world wonders. The pyramid complex resides west of Cairo at the edge of the Sahara Desert and holds nine pyramids. Like many people, I've seen a lot of photos of the Giza pyramids, but to experience them up close, I'm speechless. And if you know me, that almost never happens. This is a great vantage point. From here, you can see three of the pyramids and several of the smaller ones in a panoramic view. So to really appreciate this up close and personal, I'm gonna take a camel ride. A camel ride tops my bucket list. Now, this is the real deal. You climb on the camel from the ground, not an elevated platform. Okay, what you're about to witness this is a beginner's mistake. If you don't lean back as the camel stands up, you will topple forward. Trust me, this camel ride demands a little physical agility, but once I'm up, it is so surreal. 
A camel handler holds the reins and walks the camel with you. I am headed out on a UTV tour to get the lay of the land here at the Inn at Newport Ranch with my tour guide, Otis, who is a lifelong resident of the area. So he's going to tell us all about the history of the property, its topography, all of its natural attributes, and some really inside stories along the way. You ready, Otis? I am ready. <laughs> Let's do it. This was actually the site of a big... We make our way to the Council Bluffs. It's a popular spot for events and wedding ceremonies. As I look out to the ocean, I see a large rock. Otis tells me it's called Kilabasaya, named after a neighboring community that was another former logging town. Suddenly, Otis spots a carved projectile laid bare in the soil. He tells me it was left by the Yuki Indians, the indigenous people who once inhabited this area long ago. If you have a sharp eye and you look around through these uh, middens here, uh, you might chance upon uh, an arrowhead, an artifact looking around here. In fact, we're in luck today. Coming, coming up from this gopher, no I see a little, yeah, check it out, it's a little projectile point. Oh my gosh, look at that. Thousands of years old. Um, now that stone isn't near. I'm making my way down the steps to the edge of the cliff so I can get an up close look at the Pacific Ocean. And I love the way the property invites you to have intimate encounters with its natural beauty. Another way you can do this is throughout the property, the owner has installed benches at scenic spots where you can sit and soak in the scenery and just appreciate the moment. It's powerful. You know, this land is powerful and magical, I believe. And so I say goodbye to the inn at Newport Ranch, blessed by Mother Nature with an energy and an environment that invites you to unplug and be fully present. Until the design tourist travels again, stay curious and stay inspired. In this episode of The Design Tourist, I travel to Erfurt, the German city that bridges art, craft, history, commerce, and culture. That night I stroll around the city, which is glowing in Christmas lights, and I stop to admire two towering Catholic cathedrals standing side by side. St. Severus to the left and St. Mary's to the right, which has the largest free-swinging medieval bell in the world. You can hear it ring only on holidays. On my way back to the hotel, I stop for one more magical moment. Another puppet show in the window. Its curtain call says, please stay curious, which is a thought that I leave you with as we say goodbye to Erfurt, Germany. Until the design tourist travels again, you stay curious and stay inspired.